All right, welcome to Weed News at 420. I'm your boy Lance Storm. Today we're at Old Settlers Day in Waynesville. And the, really, the only reason I'm here is because I want you guys to know that the petition to legalize medical marijuana, no wait, that's right. The petition to legalize, total legalize marijuana is here in Waynesville today. If you haven't signed it, then you probably should. This guy right here, Mr. Richardson from Richardson's Amuse Amusements, he's got it going on. What's up, buddy? Not too much. How are you doing? Pretty good. Let's see if I can get this thing held just right. We can both be in. What have you been up to, man? Not too much. Just working. Oh, yeah. You got a lot of cool stuff here. Thanks. I got body jewelry, tie dye. You got all kinds of t shirts and just some of the neatest stuff. All different kinds of stuff. Let's show off real quick. All right. There. I'm not lucky, I'm saved. These these are my type of shirts right here. Got some cool belt buckles. So Tell me about your petition. The uh, petition is to legalize marijuana in the state of Missouri to cover industrial hemp, cannabis, medical, everything. Um, we have to get 160,000 signatures to get it on the ballot for November 2018. That should be pretty easy. There's got to be at least 160 or 70,000 potheads or pot friendly people out there. Yeah, there is. It's just catching up with them all. But it's not about just getting stoned, is it? It's, no. It's, it's the industrial hemp. You make a lot of rope and everything out of it. Clothes. Um, anything you can do with oil, you can do with hemp. So we can get off the fossil fuels and the yeah, oil dependence. We could totally run our cars off of it. Or lawnmowers, everything. Everything. It's a, this is a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. If you, if you see this guy, ask him about the petition. And uh, where are you going to be in the future? Because um, you don't exactly have an online store for them. Yet. Yeah. And um, we're based in St. Roberts right now. Yeah. Um, I go to different festivals around Missouri. The next festival I'm going to go to is a Great and Fall Festival in St. James, the street market. It's on Saturday, September 9th. I can get you in contact with petitioners in your area if you're not around uh, Pulaski County. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Well, I think I'm going to show them some of the old settlers over there real quick and then uh, get up out of here. All right. So, thanks. I really thanks. appreciate Have it. Good day. Guys, come down and see Mr. Richardson. He'll be happy to sell you some cool t-shirts, necklaces, or just have you sign a petition and, and say what's up. He's a really great guy. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear me. No mic checks. I don't see anybody live with me, but... You know, you should share this with your friends. So what is Old Settlers Day? It's a day to remember the old settlers, I guess. What do they do? They get a bunch of horses and cannons and tents and come out here and put on a nice show for everybody. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time right here because i got a few other things that i got to do today, but I really wanted you guys to see something you don't get to see every day. That's the whole point of my channel. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time tuning in to me, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. It's WN420, super easy for you to find, and 
Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Stay positive. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and weednews at 420.com. Ladies and gentlemen, have a beautiful day.